but yeah. You should be that. back on the air now. I spent my birthday at Genghis Grill, the love of my life. My little, my little girl. <laughs> you know, I saw that post, and I know who you're living with right now, and I was like, seriously, dude? But then I read further down, and I was oh, like, oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> That's my roommate, okay? My roommate. He has not even a roommate, because he has his own room, okay? Housemate. Housemate. Okay. But I was Sometimes playfellow. This great story. On Thursday on my birthday, we decided I was going to drop um, Pierre's little guy off. I'm going to pick him up from school after job. So my grandson's in the car. Talk and into the microphone. Oh, yeah. No, you're not. So my grandson's in the car, and we're driving. It's a little bit of a drive. And so he gets in the car, and my grandson says, you know, it's, am I off again? And I didn't touch the bit. No, I haven't touched the button. The on off button. I have to. But anyway, so anyway, so he gets in the car and he says, you know, it's Cha-Cha's birthday. And Sierra's little boy, like, didn't say nothing. And my little guy's like, well, why aren't you talking? Aren't you going to tell Cha-Cha it's happy birthday? And we're driving, driving. And it's so upsetting my grandson that he won't tell me happy birthday. And he goes, you know, we're not going to bring you nothing for your birthday. And, you know, Cha-Cha picks you up every day and you should tell her happy birthday. And he says, Sierra's little boy. I'm saying it in my head. But then my little guy goes, well, no one can hear you. And he was so upset. So we get almost to Sierra's job. We're getting ready to pull in. And he says, Cha-Cha. I said, yes. I'm going to sing for you now. And he sang me the happy birthday song. It was like he had it all planned. He like was subject to this ridicule for like 30 minutes because he had a plan to sing me happy birthday. So it brought a little tear to my eye. It was very sweet. Very, very sweet. He so. does his damnedest to be adorable. He does. He's a, he does a good job at being adorable. I'll tell you. It's too Aww. funny. Did uh, did we win today, Tox? We went. Let me just tell y'all. It's been three days of sports. I think it was good weather, but very windy. No, today was horrible. They called it for two hours first on due to wind. Mm-hmm. So we're sitting out there. We're then they made us get off the field. The girls are hiding out in the bathroom. It was windy. It was flipping over nets. Oh well, yeah, and the and, open field is even worse. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad. And um, t- I mean, tents were flying, sand in our. It was just awful. So um, then you know we're hiding out between the parents' cars, and finally oh two God. hours later, you know we get started. And so today was the semifinals, and I just have to share with you all my child's. Without giving too much detail, <laughs> played amazing. She is played amazing. Absolutely amazing. But the best part was is she normally is not a scorer. Because she's a goalie, isn't she? she? Yes. So, <laughs> I was trying to I... get around it without saying oh, I'm that. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> like, okay. like, how does the goalie score? That's why I'm excited so she about. she doesn't. But it ended um, in the semifinals. It ended in penalty kicks. And they went through the, all the girls on the field. And so at the very end, they said, goalie, you've got to take a turn. And, you know, and she came out and she's all nervous because, you know, it, it's a lot of she's pressure. Kick, yeah. Penalty kicks are pressure anyway. Right. Like I would wish down no one. This is absolute to me. It's preparing her for her future. Any type of stress yeah, she'll be put bad. under in right. her future like this Where is she preparing could possibly her for. Where- I'm sorry, but you know, like <laughs> put it in one place and leave I it. I move all the time. Then so this stop. Has to move. I can't. My body has to move. Sorry. So, bottom line, she scored, they won. Oh! Yay. So, yes. Yeah. So, they go to finals, and, and they did lose at finals, but oh, um, still, it, it was amazing. I love it's... the post you put up this week about, she said, Mom, I'm going to go to UNLV, and if I can't yeah. get in there, I'm going to go to Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Like, who, make, who makes Harvard their backup? My kid. <laughs> Does Harvard yes. have a women's soccer team? I don't. I'll, I probably should find yeah, out. Oh, really? <laughs> But That's she's awesome. not she's not limited to that because we also had another sports tournament this week for the other sport she plays. Oh. But that one was during the week. Oh so. my god. I'm That's a little tired. Too many sports. <laughs> Too no, you know, it tell can't me be too, too but many. But you know what? She will never that, get in trouble because she right. has no time to get in trouble. And let me just tell you, that girl is like, can we add tennis somehow? <laughs> she's like, I haven't tried tennis yet. Can, can we do tennis? You're like, no. 
<laughs> Actually, no, just buy her a rack, a couple of balls, bring her to my place. I got a tennis court. There you go. There you go. There you Let go. Play. It's competitive you know, tennis. And it's running, so and, it's and good fitness a, for her soccer. There's a handball has, wall in the back, so she can just play with herself. It wouldn't work. She would never do it. It has to no. be competitive. There, It has to be, be down to... to there has to be somebody to beat. You can, I mean, she her, that from her mother boys. or what? Did she get that from her mother? Oh, she yeah. boys. She <laughs> her wants to beat the boys. boys. It's because she plays in a boys and a girls league. Um, so her preference is absolutely boys, and, and she'll kick their ass. And then, <laughs> Do you ever think about what your child's going to be like when she grows up? She is going to be the CEO of a very successful corporation. Or Ball somebody buster. who is in charge of... In a dominatrix? No. <laughs> no. You should ever join the military. She will. <laughs> she will join the military or something where she can um, be in a very le- competitive and leadership role. What doesn't suit a young girl at this point in her life, you know, that whole competitive, like, I'm, I've got to beat everybody, it doesn't suit her well. It, it's not becoming on a, a child or a young girl. A tween. But, um, but when she's a woman in the business world, like, no one's going to mess out. with her. That's no well, mess with her. here's the downside to being a ball buster. I happen to be, have firsthand experience with this. Here's the downside to being better than the men in the room. You are immediately a cold hearted lesbian to them. Right. <laughs> like, they want nothing to do with you. They're never going to invite you out to guys' night. And if you were better than them at anything, then you're just a fucking stuck up bitch. Does she have? Is she, has she got? And it doesn't any matter how cool you like, are. She likes boys, or they're just they're just the, the enemy she, now. Well, first <laughs> they've never been the enemy. Okay. But she still is at the point where she just wants to beat them. Right. Okay. Whether it's in school, which whether... Daddy's glad there's no more than just that. Right. right? Well, you know, whether it's in school or whatever. But she has a little boy that she's been in school with since like kindergarten, and he was in love with her for years like she had her first kiss in kindergarten where a boy knocked her down climbed on her and kissed her and then you know we had to get called into the principal's office so they can explain what happened and (laughs) that boy got like in a lot of trouble but um it was a little boy he liked her for years and she's like my parents said i can't date till i'm 25 (laughs) so (laughs) and uh he didn't like that one day he threw a water bottle across the playground because he just didn't like that answer so that's so funny (laughs) yay yay for toxie's daughter Get, so, yes, getting the was, winning goal. It was fabulous. I plan um, on making my son so uncomfortable that he doesn't date until he is way far out from un- outside of my sphere of influence. <laughs> you know what? I ask him about once a month as we're driving home from school. So do you like girls yet? No, mom. Okay. But when oh, you do are you kidding? Girls, if my little guy could ask a girl out right now, he would. Because yeah. he's like a little. Uh, if he could ask her daughter out, yeah. he would. He, he loves her daughter. I mean, daughter. boys still like her. Mm-hmm. Boys oh. still like her, even though she, he'll say, you know, has a like, strong Mom, personality. Is she gonna be there? She has a really cool phone. <laughs> and the and I noticed too, like the um the older boys, uh, especially when she plays it. One of the sports she plays is co-ed. So she's not, like, hanging out with the other girl on the team. She's in there with not just the boys in her class. She's in there with the older boys. Watch out. You know, and, and she's and, uh, a cute girl, too. She's tall. Mm-hmm. Right. She's very tall. She looks very... older than her age, though. She, she does. does. Significantly. Which is, why I want, which is why I asked you how old she was when I sent you that text yeah. earlier. I don't know if we talked about it, but my son participated in a study at the college here. I think we talked about it on the show. But they sent me an email thanking me and asking me if I knew any other kids in his age range. Oh, I didn't and, know what kind of study was it? Or... Um, your, your guy's too young. Okay. They, they have to be between 8 and 13. And I remembered that uh, Toxie's little girl is older than my boy, but I know she looks like she could be 13. But so I had not. to, like, yeah, verify, no, right? you know, because yeah, she's right. so tall. That was what, what threw me because I'd yeah, have totally like pinned her as getting ready to drive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she's very, well, look four. at yeah. Toxie and Mr. Toxie. They're That's both true. very tall. So. Yeah. <sighs> you're going you're gonna to have to and get you know, her I've into... never seen a kid more that you look at the, her, you look at her, at her little girl, and you could be in a room with hundreds of people and you could pick out her mother and her father. I mean, this girl looks like both you and Mr. Toxie yeah. a lot. It's it's she's yeah. a very cute girl. So. When when my boy was growing up, clear until he started to get like young adult face, which he's starting to get yeah, now. He's starting to get now. Yeah, he uh, absolutely could have passed as my clone because it looked like I spit and had a baby. That was <laughs> <laughs> he was like, except for his eyes were not blue. He right. was dead on my kid, and he yeah. still I is. I think sometimes. he's looking more and more like his dad as he, he gets is, a little bit older. He yeah. is starting to look more and more like his dad. His hair is darkening up like his. And my guy is. looks nothing like his grandma. 
<laughs> no. Oh, oh Cali guy said uh, all the Ivy League universities have women's soccer teams. Okay, there we would, go, Cali guy. He, he would, would know. know. There you would go. But yeah, UNL, UNL, or UCLA is the first choice. So. Yeah, we're UCLA okay with that. is okay. We're well, not okay when I looked at the tuition prices, but we're, no, 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 no. We're, we're talking, okay with it only being, you know. That's why you got to tell her. Not right. only does she have to that's be it. perfect in soccer, right. but she has a perfect grade so that Toxie and Mr. Toxie don't have to pay the bill. Right. Now, actually, athletic scholarships do not need to piggyback on an academic achievement most of the time. That's true because they will hu- if you're good but enough you, to win a you can double it up. I mean my my brother basically went through college on football Yeah, my my brother too. And, my but brother he doubled went- it up with academic when he went to really high price school. Exactly. My brother did the same thing and actually the way it kind of worked was like one of the scholarships paid for all of the classes and the other one paid for all the room and board and you know all of that stuff. So yeah, you, know you can double it up. I didn't. That's how I did it. Uh, I, I had a scholarship for college. It was actually a leadership service scholarship, you know, because I'm a good leader. I joined the okay. army. Well, that's not a bad thing to do, though. <laughs> which, My parents were like, there's awesome. no money. I said, that's all right. I'm joining the army. <laughs> that's awesome. And then they paid for both of my sisters to go to college twice. So, fuck them. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. It's joyful. I joyful started noise. something with my daughter that she's um she's working on. She's working on. But when... She's really good if she knows somebody. Like now, I'll remember in the next time we see you. Um, but when she knows somebody that that is in the military, like she'll go and thank them for their service. But I wanted her to start when we see somebody in uniform to approach them just the same and um just thank you for your service and then move on. My, my kid, my kid <laughs> like don't make loves, conversation. No, but uh, yeah. he he loves people in uniform. He he loves servicemen. He's he practically grew up in a family full of servicemen. I do that. I, that's something I do all the time. And I was mm-hmm. in an airport once, and we're all sitting for the plane. The plane was actually late. It was miserable in Chicago. It's snowing, and a guy came in his military, and one one, one particular man um said thank you for your service. And the whole area heard it. And the whole area stood up and clapped for this guy, just a random soldier in his uh, fatigues, you know, but ever since then I do the same thing, Toxie, as I, I thank them for their service yeah. because that's a commitment. I do it. That's um, a commitment. When I look at, uh, through my work, I encounter a lot of people who are service and right. So when I see it or I know it, I always think, yeah, them. that's a, well. that's a good my, thing to teach your kid. Yeah. My, my kid's too intimidated. He sees him. He's like, mom, that's a soldier. Yes, it is. Oh. Go thank him for his service. I can't mom. Why? Because he's too awesome. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's okay. cute. Aww. My little guy was awe. like that about police officers. There's that little Blueberry Hill restaurant by the house, and we go there frequently. And there's always a police officer in there eating or one or two. And finally, my little guy, because he realized that the Henderson police officers carry shield stickers in their pocket. To give to kids. Yeah, so he knows now. If he goes and talks to the police officer, he's getting a shield sticker. So he's on it. (laughs) Why do you get a sticker? And the shield. They carry them in their pockets if they have to deal with children. It helps. I I I want to get a sticker. a shield sticker? I might want a little more than a sticker, but... (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know. So before before Tyra gets here, I want you to talk... Tyra Scott is our guest today. I want you to talk about your, your week with... She sends me a text in the middle of the week like, I almost could tell... (laughs) <laughs> that her text, she was whispering, okay? <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, it was almost a whisper. Look, she's blushing and she's not even talking about it yet. Go ahead, tell us. Okay, tell us. so I like to do research on our guests. Yes. And so I went in and, as you know, as soon as I had the pictures, I'm like, oh, damn, she's beautiful.